As you know, there are many challenges facing the production of new therapeutics for our, for our patients. The pharmaceutical industry has been dealing with this issue for, for many years. I've been thinking about what the, 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 the major uh, obstacle is, and I believe it's not the ability to make molecules uh, to, to test and to test in, in, in patients, but it really is the, the lack of complete understanding of both what causes diseases as well as what causes the difference in, in how diseases manifest themselves. As the problem is very difficult and complex, we need to bring all of our resources to bear on the problem. At Harvard Medical School in the Quadrangle, we have some of the uh, most talented, most brilliant scientists thinking about basic mechanisms of, of normal biology as well as disease. But we can't do it alone in the quadrangle. We need to have partners uh, in the uh, hospitals and associate hospital centers who really understand patients really the best. It's very important that we bring those two uh, major forces together in a collaborative partnership in order to learn about what causes disease and then ultimately make an impact on this important issue. The Harvard Medical School program in translational science and therapeutics focuses on two missions. One is to more effectively or efficiently move ideas to patients. The other part is to focus on a deeper understanding of what causes disease and the heterogeneity in disease. What we imagine uh, are a number of key things we want to do. First, we want to really educate everybody about this process. The second is uh, developing what I call key pillars of science necessary in order for this to happen, which focus on human genetics, on pharmacology, which includes systems pharmacology, uh, chemical biology, uh, the issue of biomarkers and animal models. We want to really understand how we can help uh, the FDA think about regulatory science and also finally how do we interact fully with industry, with government and non-governmental organizations in order to pull this all together. Ultimately, to take ideas to help our patients live longer and better lives.